Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a while. Gonna be playing uh, Man of Medan on my PS5 today. Uh, it's just one of those games, you know, like um, some. It's like a mix uh, between a game and a movie. Basically, you're making decisions uh, for your main characters and trying to keep them alive. Tried it a couple of times before. Never got too far though. It's basically um, a bunch of friends deciding to go on an adventure and end up on a on a ship with ghosts. So this is the part, first part of the series. There is two other games from the same from the same one. Is that Bruce Willis? As usual, creepy song included at the very beginning. Buster, we better mosey on back to the ship. Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Okay, what kind you of business? Know, Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? Okay. Um, I guess I'll ask about my son. Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he, uh... Is he gonna grow up alright? Things gonna work the out for him? The graphics look so realistic, especially the eyes. Um, I'll go for dragon. Press and hold R2 to pick up objects, use R to examine, okay. It... it looks like a fish? Right. Your fortune may come from any direction, like a mysterious wind, but when a wind like this may blow, death and doom are sure to follow. Death? 
Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? How did they understand Chinese? Hey, bud, let me get a go at it. Oh yeah? You think you got the stuff? Fight? Sure. That lady is so order? creepy. I'm gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. Okay. I guess it's like a mini tutorial. How to fight in this game. Needs to be fast. Have a nice day. Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man, just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. Ah, trace up there. Okay. Something's gonna happen to the dead bodies. Are those coffins or that can't be good? Oh, okay, these are coffins. Okay, I'm finally in control. Just 
Just gonna have a quick look if there's anything I can pick up before leaving the room. Okay, found something useful. What about that notebook? go here Howdy Charlie How's your time off God, Just get me out of here already What the hell is going on up there I Heard aircraft and gunfire me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. You don't say. <laughs> right. Keep calm. Control your fast heartbeat. Right. Here it goes nothing. Success. Should I go the same way as the kid? Something's shining over there. Hey, Charlie, help! Huh?
God damn, another stiff? Who's the lucky winner? So, uh, is it just me, or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Do I look like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings? <laughs> you look like a mess on wheels, Chuck. I ain't the only one. Great. Good company. Let's just get up on that. Yeah. Fine. Agree. Yeah. Huh. Brian's objective, find out what's happening to the crew. Hey, Chuck? You see that kid over there? Uh... No? You feeling alright? Guess I'm going crazy. One of the bodies is probably gonna jump up. Charlie! Get over here! Like this guy's already losing it. Hey, come here. <laughs> oh, God, no, Charlie. Sounds a bit fake. Okay. Okay. And it's a ghost. So what was the point of the intro? Everyone Mayday! dies? Mayday! Is anyone there? Hello! Can anyone out there hear me? Oh, come on! Come on, damn it! What the hell is that? Oops. Hello.
so did that last guy uh, made it? Did he make it or not? This guy looks familiar as well. Hello, and welcome. Is it just me, or the guy looks like uh, that that Terminator from Terminator 2? That liquid metal guy. Don't remember his name. I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out okay. you see we each make decisions according to our own moral compass and we have to live with those decisions or die by them but you shouldn't fear death it is after all inevitable it is the tax one pays for having lived and it comes eventually to everybody still none of us want for it to come too soon do we As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions or should I say decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer that's all for the moment we'll talk again soon enough we'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken or whatever mess you've made I wonder if mine's gonna be a mess or not.
Brad, Alex's brother. Alex, Brad's brother, Julia's boyfriend, insecure, motivated. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water? Diving? Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah? I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. Um, I wanted to, had to work. I just didn't didn't have time. You know, I had to work all summer. Oh, uh, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Whoa, careful! That dive cam is like super expensive. Little bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded. So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Dude, you know I'm not, like, the best around new people, or whatever. Just shut up. Brad, you're not on this trip because you're my bro. I mean, you are my brother, but, I mean, like, we're buddies, you know? Um, kinda. We're just out here to fucking hang, cool out, and kick it. What the fuck are you talking about? Let's just kick it and be legends, man. <laughs> All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry, I'm a little snappy. I'm just... We knew medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. That must be tough, buddy. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey! So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Just go with and just yell go with it. your gut. <laughs> if it's right, you'll know. Hey. Oh, I know this guy. Oh, sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. It's hey, man. Awkward. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. <laughs> Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Ah, uh, TBH? I kind of have a thing with, uh, seasickness? Brad. Bradley. Ray Brattleberry. There's only one way to get your sea legs, and it comes in a can. Uh, fine. One. That's all. <laughs> right on, Bradical. I like the cut of your ship. It's Jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? I'll just be honest. Um, no, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. 
Nice. Hey, we're gonna pop your cherry together. We're gonna be gentle. Uh. Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? Oh, captain of the ship. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but uh So is everybody on board and ready to go? Get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Yeah. Oh boy. See those hot pigs. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. <sighs> okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying, we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, that kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Who cares, bro? Look, for all anyone knows, we were just diving and then found it. So who cares? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. Of course they're not wait to be the first won't. one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? Yeah, you can tell they're not gonna touch anything. We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera, see if you can find anything useful. Right out. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Right. Hey, hey. Hey, sweetie. Hmm. I don't think might be a way in. Where's that guy? What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Took more than that just to scrub the trip. Let's get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. Anything useful here? I'm not sure Julia left anything on the mainland. This only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy.
Oh right, the old guy mentioned the pictures. Huh. What am I looking at here? It can be a possible future. Okay. Um, something shiny again. I guess that's important. Is that a license? The... the... This doesn't look kosher. Is that the fake license? Hey, 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 don't go down. Go back up. You know how to use that? Uh, no. Not really. Might want to just let it do its thing. got the gear good to go need some help need an extra hand never used a rebreather before I think we're in good shape it's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work gotta say not too happy with our captain at the moment is she a real captain though should I tell her the truth Ah. Yeah, I know. Just yellow. Let's just play cool for now. Cool? Why? There's no point in antagonizing her. If she tries to keep me from doing this dive one more time, that's it. Gloves off. That's fair. Just don't force her hand. All right. I'm gonna get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. She's a fake captain. Don't worry about ready. it. Just let's go and explore this old. I'm old fucking better. airplane. I'm sure There's nothing's gonna happen. Tail. Take a look. That looks safe. Okay. Hey. Hey, back. What do we have here? Hey, guys. Tanks are ready. Tanks a lot. Anyone out there? Guess not. So, if the tanks are ready, I guess it's time to dive. Okay. Let's do it. So, this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay. O2 check done. Beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Thanks for sending me straight. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate. Just go with a stick. I got the bang stick. Yeah, I Good heard to that go. about you. Ha ha. Just remember you ever have to use one? Please. On a shark? Nope. 
You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. Jesus, her smile. It's so fake, creepy. And the shark is them. Then. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is like way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command? No. Fresh in here, cabin boy. <laughs> Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Sure, why not? Sure, why not? Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? It's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan. You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested, maybe my family can make an investment in your business. That's very kind of you to offer. I suppose we could have that conversation. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. I bet he's not gonna do that for free, though. Weather looks clear. Hmm. I have to keep an eye on those clouds. Uh oh. It's getting mighty crowded out here. Someone's coming. Can't be good. Where's the binoculars? All clear for now. Duke to Alex, Duke to Julia. Not good. Hey there, how's it hanging? You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. So are you beached? Like a whale. Hey, I just thought, why spend all my time down in the dark when I already like what I see up top? I have to keep track of the dive, but I'd be happy to continue this conversation later when I can give you my full attention. 
In private? Private. Just just chatting it up, you and I, in the old conversational intercourse. <laughs> that was so smooth. Hello again, little blip. What's she doing all the way out here? Should I go downstairs to check for something? What if I look at the picture again? No predemnition. Okay. Keep these around. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. It's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. I hope they know what they're doing down there. Attitude matters 20 meters down. Alex plays the goof, but he was pretty serious about acing his diving certification. What other dives have they done? When I got the booking, I thought they were newbies. Alex and Julia have both logged plenty of dives. I'm the real amateur. But I'm ready. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. to hide that should have thought of that earlier before others already seen it well hello there captain can I do something for you I can think what what's that about that was an awkward skip that not, that's not the Coast Guard that is not the Coast Guard so we're not under arrest how should we handle this This feels off. Just be quiet and don't say anything stupid, okay? Okay. Guys, you gotta keep back, we've got divers in the water. Damage here, you see this? Look at our boat! We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, ten bucks cover it? <laughs> Whoops, my bad. Let's make it twenty. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. Alright, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot.
Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really. On the rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Connie. The turret. We can get in through there. God damn it. Ah, that wasn't expected. Whoa, careful. Could be dangerous. Uh ladies first. Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time not exploring. Go, go, oh. go! Julia, leave it. You don't have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? <laughs> Maybe it is kind of dangerous. Oh yeah, you Maybe don't it say. it is kind of dangerous. Fuck it. I'm just gonna go for it. What? I thought I could just inspect it. I didn't want to go there. Yeah, just fuck it. Yellow. Oh, of course. Something stupid down here? That's it. One chance, you get that. Chill out. I'm fine, see? No problemo. This says it was a rescue plane. Launched from a US base. They were on their way to help out a ship. down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Good God. something. Wow. What the hell happened here? A little look at things. They knew they were goners. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. 
One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Oh, it's, this is the entrance. Okay. I have to swim all the way back then. Sharp, not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't I guess. Oh, I know you can't tell because we're underwater, Jesus. but I'm on my knees right now. Uh huh. Julia, will you marry me? I'm, I'm sorry, I, I mean, I, I, I just, I mean, we almost just died. Julia, I'm serious. Alex, just go wow. for it. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes, yes, I'll marry the shit out of you. <laughs> So romantic. All right, handsome hero. You want to get on with our escape from the uh, crumbling death trap? And then Lift there is another surprise waiting upstairs. We're back up. Over. Upstairs, on the surface. Wait, yep. Where's that other boat come from? Wait, Julia. We gotta decompress here. Damn! Oh. What the fuck? We gotta get up there! Wait! We have to decompress! Damn it. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. Fuck it, I'm going. Uh, hey, JJ, don't worry about it. Just a barbecue. All right. There was a little, uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats! Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. And then the guys come back, probably. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. 
both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life, and he the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. And some I think they may regret. And that's it for part one, guys. I'll be seeing you in part two then.